Well, the two most popular guys here at Big 12 Media Day were Tom Herman and Sam Ellinger. The next two most popular, Baker Mayfield and Terry Bradshaw. No, those guys weren't here at AT&T Stadium today, but their names brought up several times. Now, if you don't know why that was the case, it's because Bradshaw said this comment to his alma mater at Louisiana Tech just a few months ago. As we open up with Texas this year, and one year they signed three 5A quarterbacks. Two are now gone. And one that's playing, and he, you know, he ain't that good. As for Baker Mayfield, he went on a radio show saying straight up he does not like quarterback Sam Ellinger. Now, how did the Longhorns respond to all this negativity? Didn't have much of a reaction at all. Uh, kind of in one ear, out the other. I'm not really focused on that right now. I'm focused on what I can do to make my team better. It's pretty irrelevant in terms of how it affects our program. We're, we're worried about our program. We could land on the moon. They still probably go hate Texas, so everybody would have their opinion. Well, I guess when you get to the top, man, everyone wants to say something. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, some good, some bad. Uh, but if anyone can handle it, it's Sam, I'll tell you that. And with all these comments, does quarterback Sam Ellinger use it as motivation? Well, that answer depends on who you ask. Sam loves to play with a chip on his shoulder, and uh, I I'm sure he'll He'll use this to, to crank it up a notch. The chip that I try to play with my on my shoulder doesn't necessarily have to do with what anybody else is saying. Um, I try to carry that with me wherever I am just because um, it shouldn't take any extra motivation to play to, your, to the best of your ability. Um, but when when yeah, I, I, I don't think it adds because it's already pretty big. The Longhorns will open up their season at home, taking on Bradshaw's alma mater, and then they face Mayfield's old squad in October. Now let's send it over to Jake Garcia, who breaks down the new parts of the 2019 Texas roster.